Lita here again and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, today I'm going to be making pecan squares. Um, Thanksgiving, pecans, you know, they just kind of go together. So anyway, uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful dessert. You're going to love it. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to make pecan squares. Okay, to get started on your pecan squares, we're going to sift together two cups of flour. And I just have a sifter like this. You can use uh, any kind of sifter that you had. I'm just going to uh, pour that two cups of flour right into my sifter. And also uh, two thirds cup of um, powdered sugar. And I'm just gonna sift that all right down in there together. Use a fork here, get it going. Really good. Now this is the um, crust part of our pecan squares. So we're gonna get this all sifted together. Okay, and to that you're going to add a 3 fourths cup of butter that is nice and soft. Uh, you definitely want this at room temperature uh, to do this next step. So what I'm going to do now is just cut my uh, butter right into my flour and powdered sugar mixture and it's going to kind of resemble uh, crumbs when I've got it all done. And you're just taking it and just working it with that fork to get your uh, butter and your flour and your powdered sugar all well incorporated together and it is going to be kind of crumbly. So you will just keep doing that until it got a nice crumbly texture. Okay, as you can see, it kind of just looks like uh, crumbs, really, when you're uh, done. Now, there is a tool, it's called a pastry blender, that you can do uh, this uh, part of the recipe with. Uh, but if you do not have a pastry blender, uh, you can just use a fork. Uh, I broke my pastry blender, <laughs> so I have yet to get um, a replacement for it. But a uh, fork works just as well. Okay, now you are ready to go ahead and get this in the oven and get it baked. Okay, you need a 9 by 13 glass pan that has been lightly greased with a cooking spray. And you're going to go ahead and uh, put your mixture right into um, your glass dish. Just pour it all right in. Okay, now you're just going to go ahead and you're going to pat this mixture right onto um, the bottom of your pan and a little bit um, up the sides. It does not have to go all the way up the side, maybe about a, oh, a half inch or so, or an inch and a half, I should say. Okay, this does not have to go all the way to the top, but you do want uh, quite a bit of crust up there on the side of your, your baking dish because when we pour our uh, next layer on, you don't want it to run under the crust. And you want uh, this to kind of look like a, maybe like a pie, a pie shell. So you do want it up the sides a little bit. Just gonna press that all firmly into place. Now this is gonna go um, into a 350 degree oven. Oh, for about 20 minutes or, you know, until um, the edges are lightly browned. And then we're going to take it out and let it cool. And while it is cooling, we will be working on um, the filling that goes on top of this crust. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on our filling. Uh, you just need a medium-sized pan, and we're going to bring uh, our brown sugar, which is a one-half cup of brown sugar. And our honey, which is a half a cup of honey. Ooh, this is looking oh so yummy already. and our butter, which is two thirds cup of butter. And also some whipping cream, and you'd only need uh, three tablespoons of whipping cream. We're just gonna get that to boiling. 
and um, we're going to do this over medium high heat and we're just going to um, get it boiling and then we will add our pecans Okay, so our mixture is just about um, to the boiling point. You can start seeing it just a little bit bubble up there. And uh, that's what you want. I'm just going to let it bubble just a little bit more. And then we're going to add three and one half cups of uh, coarsely chopped pecans. So they don't have to be chopped up really, really well. Just uh, you, want, you want to taste the pecans, so you don't want to chop it up really fine or anything. See how mine are just kind of hunks of pecans so and you're just going to go ahead and put that right into your mixture you're going to go ahead and turn your heat off and we're going to pour this uh, right onto um, our uh, uh, bottom our crust that we had in the oven and it's already nice and cooled down so we're going to go ahead and get this poured right onto our crust and then back in the oven it will go okay so our crust is all ready uh, for our pecans and we're just going to pour that right on um, to our crust here oh my goodness this is smelling oh so yummy going to spread that around really good. Now this is going to go uh, back into a 350 degree oven oh, for 25 oh, to 30 minutes. Oh boy, this is smelling so good. So we just want it to be nice and uh, nice and bubbly and uh, golden when we take it out. So into the oven this goes okay so this is just out of the oven I mean you can still see it bubbling away there and this is smelling so fabulous I cannot wait till it cools off completely and then we're gonna cut a piece okay so our pecan squares are all nice and cool and I've gone ahead and cut them into squares and we're going to go ahead and get them out um, onto our plate so you can kind of see what they look like. Oh yeah, that is what I am talking about. Can you see all of that goodness? Oh my goodness. Smelling so wonderful. Look at that. Yum. Yeah, these turned out awesome. My husband is gonna love these because um, pecan pie is his favorite pie and this kind of has that um, same taste to it. These are absolutely delicious. Um, if you're having uh, people over for this Thanksgiving or just because you wanna bake them, they're gonna be great for any occasion. And they're just oh so yummy. Okay, y'all, I hope that you will give these pecan squares a try. They are oh so yummy and so easy and quick. The longest part to this recipe is waiting for them to cool off and you're having to look at them and smell them and you really just want to bite. <laughs> so anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.